Some might say this next story is strong, stronger than a roll of bounty paper towels. The Memphis City Council, 13 members strong, about to get to work. And they have huge issues that must be dealt with quickly, including one that you voters approved last fall, raising the sales tax to pay for improved police and fire benefits. As Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews found out, the new council members, well, they won't have any honeymoon in their first weeks on the job. Political controversies in Memphis are kind of like the rain. It happens. Every now and then it happens, and it's happening again. Maybe there was one day when everybody got along. The day when council members took the oath of office. Maybe that was the honeymoon. This year, the Memphis City Council will be focused on working together for a better Memphis. The always present smile and everything is good feeling from Patrice Robinson leaves quickly when people talk about the sales tax increase. Voters in October said they were good with raising the sales tax by half a cent if the money went to restoring benefits for police officers and firefighters. The increase is expected to bring in about $50 million a year. But some critics say they don't think it's going to happen. It will eventually uh, run out of money, uh, and we're going to have to deal with that on the front end. We're still working through those numbers. I will have an answer on that issue when I present the budget in uh, the third week in April. Supporters of the plan say the money will be there. Some on the council say, well, let's wait and see. I think it's a question long term if it's going to be enough money to cover the increasing revenue costs of health care. City council members didn't want this issue on the ballot. Some of them, like Patrice Robinson still think the sales tax increase won't be enough. I am still very concerned about that. Uh, the firefighters shared information with me in the beginning. Now the staff is saying that it may not be enough money over time. And until we get all the information and get all the presentations, we won't be able to know that. But that's a real concern because I don't want anyone to be disappointed. The question obviously is with six new members, things could be different on this council this year. It'll be something to keep an eye on. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.